yourself. What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the guy who's being there. Welcome to Who's Being There TV. Big favor, big abundance. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about Louisiana artist Jada Young and 21 gang, man. 16 members got arrested on a on a Rico charge. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So um 16 alleged members of the 21 gang that JD Youngin was a part of the Louisiana rapper who lost his life due to a fatal shooting uh, were arrested on a RICO charge right um, a racketeering charge um, and the rest were starting from the from 2017 all the way up until November of last year right um, one of the main people in this RICO FG famous right the who went spinning immediately <laughs> soon as and i'm not even that's not even nothing to laugh at because i know it was out of pain i did a video on it before when it happened and that boy fg famous went to spinning immediately as soon as jd young and um lost his life like they was not playing so i mean they got him on a bunch of different charges i believe that's including some bodies so you know bodies allegedly could have been dropping behind jd youngin would not shock me at all and this is one of those situations where black pain man we gotta they they sell it this is what we sell them we sell black pain and it's really real black pain that really come from somewhere right like the way any art jd young and his raps and everything that he's going through y'all ever seen that interview where jd young was on vlad his vlad interview and he just left the room and start crying out of nowhere because i believe the perk it wore off i know he you know was having some drug issues and he just had to get it out man this black pain man these what these kids really going through this real life in real life these kids are here dealing with pain and this black pain gets transformed into violence you know they don't have no other way to handle it you get what i'm saying and these is the real guys that a lot of people be trying to help these like because these the real steppers these the real shooters these the real ones that's out there really you know putting in the quote unquote work right so jay the youngin you know really had guys around him that really not wasn't playing about him you know what i'm saying they really loved him and this is the only way that they could show that love you know what i mean and and not only is it the only way they can show that love but it's the only way they can deal with that pain you get what i'm saying so that's the because they dealing with that black pain from you losing their brother right now all these guys are willing to go out here and just flat out crash out in the name of their brother right so i mean nobody really wins in that situation that's a deadly cycle of death and imprisonment where i mean you only you know who gonna win off of that y'all know who win gonna win off of that the powers that be gonna win off of that so that doesn't that doesn't really help the situation but as i stated in the first time when i ever covered this subject this subject i can understand it i understand it right and if they was doing anything criminal outside of that you know if drugs anything like that i'm not shocked by that because jd youngin was the cash cow he was really taking care of his guys and taking care of his hood so he was the cash cow so none of this shocks me because it's pretty much you know the only real thing that could happen they got to go back to their real lives whatever little money they did have you put it back in the streets you grow it and we never gonna stop spinning for, for jd youngin that's how they feel you know what i'm saying that's how they feeling you get what i'm saying i mean that's just real some guys really got them type of guys around them like that that's not finna just let that ride like that you know what i'm saying it's it's not you don't see it a lot but some guys got that like Dolph. look at Dolph. same type of situation man the once once flipper lost his life man boys i ain't stopped spending since you get what i'm saying and jd Youngin guy he had that same type of influence around his guys because he probably took his guys from nothing and was really feeding his guys and was really helping his guys 
you know so they not going that type of loyalty they going to always have but it's really more so black pain man and i just be able to understand that so well right like these companies do a really good job of marketing of marketing black pain and making you know hundreds of millions of dollars billions of dollars off of black pain real trauma you know what i'm saying that these young kids is dealing with that they turned into music as an outlet and they able to monetize their pain without effectively dealing with the pain or you know the situations that they go through and some make it and some don't you know and we we hate to hear the stories of the ones that didn't you know but it already just come down to you know it's one of them situations where you know the streets are the streets and this is why i be telling guys get out the streets right the streets are the streets and it's only everybody know what the i mean you know what the results is two plus two always equals four always equals four so it's like you know what you're getting from that but when you got guys this is once again this is another one of them things where we be talking about bossing up setting up businesses if you didn't set up no resources for your guys to eat right and they can't really see a realistic way to win right then you you put it they set up to be in a situation to where well look we just you know we gonna do what we know and we gonna spend for jd young you know what i'm saying you left some trucking companies or something for them or some moving companies or a restaurant or something like that right to where they can you know still you know get some money and and, and operate you know you never know how that might uh change their perspective on life and what they feel like they life is worth you know the value of their life you know so i mean everybody is innocent until proven guilty you know we don't know if any of these guys you know or or guilty of what they saying that they didn't did so we gotta let the legal process clear out but all i'm really just it's one of those situations where i just evaluated for what it is and it's like it's really some young black kids that's dealing with trauma and and pain and they don't know how to uh address it in a healthy way to where sit now situations arise where they gonna do what they know and the police gonna do what they do and the feds gonna do what they do and the funeral home gonna do what it does and the jail system gonna do what it does and it's just a vicious cycle man so we gotta address the issue you gotta address the root cause before you can really feel like you're gonna have any solutions and it already just come down to that trauma man so i'm just praying for everybody in their situation man hopefully you know we'll see they might beat it you never know you know so we'll wait that out man but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments man it's the guy who is being our big favor big abundance don't forget to like share subscribe like share subscribe this the guy who is being our big favor big abundance i'm gone